Well, six months after shutting down early because of coronavirus, the 2020 Rio Grande Valley Livestock Show picks up where it left off. Tomorrow, the show is back on virtually. Channel 5's Christian Colon joins us to explain. For the first time in more than 80 years, the Rio Grande Valley Livestock Show shut its doors earlier this year because of coronavirus. Now the 2020 show must officially come to an end, but this time they're heading online. Goats, rabbits, and cattle, just three types of animals Valley students raised for the annual Mercedes Livestock Show in March. I always correct my posture, like I take video of when I show, and the way I look, if I'm doing something wrong, I correct it when, like, for practicing with my goats. Cole Hinojosa is a junior at Lyford High School. Every show taught a different lesson, but nothing like 2020. Show organizers were forced to end this year's events early, an impact felt by students across the valley. I do my own thing. I'm not able to go and socialize with my friends in the pig barn as I normally would. I just stick to my goat now. Edinburgh North Junior Anavela presenting her project at the 2020 Livestock Show. Both she and Inahosa placed, but they didn't get the money expected at auction for the year's worth of work. So the Livestock Show organizers are creating an online auction for three days to hopefully get awarded. Some of these kids depend on the sale money in order to buy their projects for next year's show. And so there's been some kids that unfortunately weren't able to get the project that they wanted because the sale hasn't happened yet. RGV, we need your help. For three days, people can donate and or bid on an animal showcased earlier this year, or they could bid on a piece of artwork or photograph. From something as simple as a cutting board to uh, wall art, like a, 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 a cross that somebody designed, um, there's a wide range in the shop project auctions. Then you have people that can showcase their photography talents, Art, the Western art projects and the horticulture projects and all of the animals as well. There is a catch. Those bidding won't get the items. The animals were already sold and the art was either donated or given away. More than 600 students will participate in the three-day online event. And for the kids involved, the money could mean their future. College is not cheap. So for the less fortunate people that don't have their college paid for, this certainly helps us. As for Ina Hosa, it's about using that money for next year's show. To learn more about the online event, head to rgvls.com. The auction will be from Friday until Sunday. For more information on how to participate, head to our website at krgv.com. In Mercedes, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News.